Lovely. You get bin bag full of incest, big breath. You can't go ham just because you're inbred. Of course, look at weight drugs. Your weight loss, even your pounds fat. Do against Tony T. Was at a battle of weight loss, and well, at least you won that. No J versus Nash, crossing my six seater. Hit the gym, get swim, or suck getting out of bed, taking a breather. Trying to get the dread, take a seizure. A terrible danger, get a person trained out to keep you eager. The tracks are like, well, shape. No energy depth or hype, I'm bringing slip next to a fist fight. Shut Won't wait for a wet sight. And you, Red Deadly, see I'm smarter than you. More hard hearted than you, spar for a few, see I swing harder than you, I'm harder than you, smoke weed dying for the new sun, I'm even more gangster than you. Suck <laughs> <laughs> white bread, looking like a fat big skate with a sight shirt and a sight shed. <laughs> And that body Stevie, so body bag for body bag, that should make body you easy. Fuck out of here with those played out punches, come on and try a bit. And if your body's a temple, well, that probably explains the size of it. <laughs> The West End pussy that's gonna try and defeat me. He travelled here on the bus after a flash this weekly. <laughs> Up the back, blazing punch, beast full crew, smoking weed pay. Now I must say, that whole scenario makes you guys sound. <laughs> Stereotypical hip poppers, weenie hats, oversized tees, and jumpers. Pens halfway down your ass. Say <laughs> stuff's black, dope, and tight. Why use Americanisms? Quick pleasure, you don't get enough slang terms for good and shit. <laughs> Denker, these are tough gas, push t shirt upper class. They may provide you with some relatability, even though you're an upper class guy. So it don't be a facade of disguise, because you'll never be like me. I'm a fucking weed guy. Alright, Nancy's and butter punch while wearing a tool belt. Alright, height seat my toy shot, buy and do get gel. That changes your batteries in the remote. Why shell some pizza bell? <laughs> I skip the boxers, I crack the jokes, and I phone all the fucking taxis as well. <laughs> so don't ask for tell, the whole idea of that section, a USA was the origin, that's what the masses were expecting. <laughs> Scottish hip hop needs to evolve, take it in a new direction, he's to keep progressing with carbon copies. See how much respect we get then. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the back of that video, keeping the Tony, looking awkward and lonely, he's always ignoring you. If his bars would have boring me, fuck it, I'll say it openly, punch like rapper, put yourself in the box and wonder why no one opens you. Saying beat package bullshit, battle rappers disgust me, put him on a beat and then he starts to sound uncomfy, put him on the street to chat that shit and you're a lucky cause not everyone's a battle geek or fat old weekly numpty. <laughs> Fucking trust me, me against him, bar for bar, I go deeper, you only roll deep when you roam streets hoping to steal sneakers. Fuck the sleeves, you're on cans, I'm all meters, I'm the messiah, he denies it, my disciple, we call him Peter. Now that is not a joke, it was just a break, four more fat jokes. <laughs> He's got an look in his face, you see him jump up and down and it starts to break the stage. <laughs> and that's why whenever I talk, I don't stand there looking awkward. I come with the freestyles that put faggot rappers at him in boxes. Please mate, you can't talk shit. Rocket, turn out your bats, fuck your dead life. Dead shape. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do what I've got to do, sir. It's a shame to you. You seem like sort of cunt I can have a pipe in the booze, sir. And I've got to do that. The boy has some producer, but this guy gets so high on the rights with Brian Fetty looking in the eye of Medusa. You couldn't find you to that stone, you can't even have a sit bar, fuck's sake. <laughs> Heavy munchie, craving papas, and a chip of your law. But if you turned up your doorway with a sausage of fish, you get kicked out your law by your smelly political activist, I'd pay your law. And turn bringing back memories, I tell you about bad to get. When Sir Elton John visited your school, I guess his fate it had to be. Just to see him walk through the room. Don't be mad at me for telling the world you see the night's wood at your academy. It's a dreadful 
Why did you fancy Jet Lan? Why do you like his screw it? Is it because you're both middle children but finding a first on boats? Is it because you fucking crept? You'll give me Jew a bottle of mortgage. He's still like 13 floor. He's all floating for gold, it's all one big laugh. But comes a fucking cunt, so I stole his laptop when I turned his gaff. <laughs> Are so bland. I figured out you keep beats to credible artists. They release it, Andrew, put your name in the title as a feature. The fuck you your Timberland? You're fucking Chubbell! Real guy! Real guy! Real guy! Real guy! Real guy! Real guy! So you battle group are calling my seat sagging KBs and we know that you're predictable. We've all heard you in a beat since we've proven you're not one of cone. They call you part of dead lights and associate to be criminal when you take a two bar punch and stretch it to eight and end in something subliminal. So you'd probably be quick to move and shit gets physical. Hit you with punches that elevate your brain, turn it spiritual, maximise a rise from the grave, your dead life's minimal bait, overweight, go blue in the face after saying a syllable. <laughs> <laughs> You used to work for Rotary, Sparky with no spark. A dead life, I was told to give him 200 volts to the heart. I was told this would be hard, but clashing with titans or strangling pythons in the dark instead of strolling the park. Natural selection, I'm not controlling the steps of the heart. So, so don't come try spit in my face. Looking at a younger, uglier wreckage of ace. <laughs> Cuts and it's a breeze when I step in the function ease when I step into crunch and giving ten ease for a junkie to punch him. Chuck a bucket of greasy fat boy hurting weight. Like, Eat him up, do you want to something? No, fuck that, I'll make sure you never flop your recruit sign again. Because I'm telling my part this arsehole, I'd like to rate your goons for being famous instead of bringing back nightmares to your dad and your camp of anus. <laughs> <laughs> sex of anus. You can have stopped me if you want it, but you seem to have enjoyed it, so we didn't really take the advantage. <laughs> when you get me back down, keep quiet, but you wouldn't have this. Because every night, they glued your lips together with these testicle adhesive. <laughs> if you want to come right, keep adding a message, so come to music for necessity. To release your thought of aggression and tackle adversity. Make sure cuts are heard of you. Attention into the currency need. Producing banging beats. Hip hop does that turn up your cans to hear bleep. Bring the demons in your beat. But I'll call it infectious. They told you to come here and battle me. But I'm technically ambidextrous. So I'm looking for some fucking infectious. Tactically amputate tongue after a bat. Because I'm terribly addicted to the breakfast. I'm not going to get this ability. I could go to here all day. But hip hop's full of initials. Second example GLA. Game of us always, bunch of high focus youngins. Be careful you hang about me. The next list was a thing of beauty. Heard your KOTV when you thought it a blaster. You're not putting it dirty, she'd make you damn it harder and faster. Think you're an arcane, just to grab the jokes, panda. Steven, I never fucking cheated, you fat disaster! That's why she don't know. I T F E. So it's a fucking dead man. It's a fucking dead Watched Scott Early versus Kid Robotic. Um, I think for me 
personally, um, Scott Early took that battle, and I tell you why. I think he completed every single round without a single slip up or choke him. He had a lot more crowd reaction. Um, Kid Robotics lines, he didn't get as much reaction. He were hitting as hard, and also in the second round, he pulled out his phone. So, kind of to me, that was a bit, uh, a bit of a bad choke, really, to be honest. So, three nil to Scott Early in three rounds. I guess. Be quite Hi. loud. This is Mr. Tongue Twister. We're here at Bad Mouth Battles. Um, first round, I honestly give that to Kid Robotic. I, I don't know if it's because I didn't get uh, Scott Early's line to it, but I know the crowd reacted, but I thought Kid Robotic was better straight up. Second round, I know he fell off, but he started. He, he had the freestyle on the whole, uh, what was it? Like, that's not a choke. That's a break, time for some more fat jokes. I don't care. Like that to me, you already won the first two rounds. I know we chose the third. 2-1 to keep robotic.